Ni majira ya saa 12 jioni naelekezwa na mjuzi wangu hadi jumba la Oscar Plaza mjini Nakuru rofa ya tatu afisi ya shirika la makaba maarufu Smart Ladies hawa ni wanawake waliamua kuuza mili yao ili kuweza kukidhi mahitaji yao Joyce Njeri mwenye umri wa miaka 22 anaeleza namna alivyonaswa na mtego huu wa ukaaba hiyo uh, inaitwa wrong story i was in high school from 3 Then I got pregnant so my parents just me away so nikajipata tu hapa kwa ground. Maelezo ya Joyce Njeri yanawiana na yale ya Ann Anyera ambaye pia anasimulia jinsi alivyoamua kufanya ukaba ili kukidhi mahitaji yake na familia yake. I've been in this job for around 5 6 years na I started it when I was in Eldoret wakati nilijipata niko na mambo inanifinya sana pressing issues uh, school fees na mambo mengine ya kijamii I'm a single parent taking care of four kids wamekuwa watu wazima siwezi kijana kwa university na the three wako high school na kwa kuwa ni biashara iliyo kinyume na maadili mema Njeri na Anyera wanakiri kuwa sharti wafanye chochote kile almuradi familia zao wasije wakagundua no they don't know nafanya hiyo kazi yeah so much ni prevent kabisa kwa sababu most of the time wako in a boarding school na okija mara nyingi si rahisi kutoka most of the time wataenda library waende ku study huko wakitoka huko they go back to the house na mara nyingi nikiwa na watoto niko na time ya kutosha nao sasa wanajua nafanya tu kazi tamam especially kuna mahali nilikuwa nafanya kwa public toilet pale walikuwa wakikuja wananipata tu so ikafika mahali walizoea wanajua ni hapo tu niko kwa kazi kwa Gladys Kemunto huu ni mwaka wa tano pia akiwa katika biashara hii aliyojipata ameingia kufuatia shinikizo za maisha kaka kutoka sana na msee sasa mimi nikaona watu wangu wanapeseka nikienda kibarua mtu anakulipa pia anataka sometimes watu ulipi sasa nikaanza kutafuta kazi kwa baba nikapata nikapata bado mwenye ba na yeye akudipi anaanza kukuambia watu wametoroka na pili sasa unachipata huna pesa kwa maana yake nilichipata nikiwa sexy work nikaona hata tunapata mtu hapo kwa baba akiongea na yeye anaenda ananipatia tata au 1500 kasi ni yoka sasa nikaingia sasa kwa sababu ah watatu Gladys Kemunto na Juice Njeri hata hivyo wanadokeza kuwa wako rai kuacha ukaba iwapo wanaweza pata mtaji wa kwanza biashara mbadala na kuanga unajua mimi nini ya intention yangu si kwangi kwa hii business si yani hiyo ya kiri yangu iko kwangi hapa sana na unaanga like naweza toka niende fa don't eh, like Sinonanga mimi mwenyewe sifai kwa hapa. Ah no 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 nafanya tu juu ya hao mtoto wangu. Aikwangi intention yangu kuishi hapa, kukaa hapa zinu kukaa kwa sex work eto. Nonanga niko yani watu wanakuchukulia vibaya, wanakupata, wengine wakwambia you look good, mbona ujolewa, nini nini. So like unaji express sana kwa kuji express that's the thing. Na sipo Juneza pata family member anapita hapo neighbors wanapita so like hata mimi mwenyewe naona ni ni picha mbaya najua akiniona watenda waanze kuambia wa mama wengine wa, wa mashamba nini nini waambie oh nini na hizo stories zitafikia madhi nuno na cheki hata ma, sipo wa mama ya mtu kusikia story kama hii sipo so naona anga tu nikienda for some some days to come ndakuwa eh tujiondoa tu mimi nikinipatia pesa ya pesa ni anzie kazi ndawate kazi hasa wasichana wengi they are financially unstable unapata hii pesa ni unapata 200 ama 500 anaenda na mmoja kula kwake inaisha na kesho rasmi atarudi huko sasa rasmi ni ipende chungi inalisha watoto wangu inaweka chakula yako kwa meza inalisha watoto wangu siwezi kuchukia tunikuja sasa hivi kuambiwa nipe pesa utanipea mimi napenda kazi yangu kama niko na data au alternative ningetoka kwa ikazi nikisapata pesa 
tuseme ni fungue kama peli ya mangu sasa sasa hii natuwa naenda na na figa kamera kama ya fumbiri teatro asa kama nikipata tu pesa mzuri niende ni fungue tu kama peli hivi niwe ni kienda kwa masoko mbali mbali kata ni ndia waneta ndesa watu wa kasa Sekta hii ya ukaba inawashirikisha mashoga hao wanaume wanaofanya ngono na wanaume wenzao hali kango ni mmoja wa mashoga mjini Nakuru. Okay me, for me at least is like sauti yangu imekaa ime mwanaume it was so feminine hata ungejua kama ni kijana mwenye sana na ongea uh, me pang, I was born because at like when I was nikiwa 5 6 years and I used to love men nilikuwa napenda tu vijana and also feminine and like yeah so in like just like with joke kabisa like your class 5 that was 20 20 what 2010 and 2011 i think 2011 and like grow like 2015 since then like like kuza like kuzangono boyfriend kuzangono boyfriend ifo i decide that's what i'm doing oh kujijua like napenda wanaume Hali Kango na Han Anyera hata hivyo wanaarifu kuwa wanaridhika na kazi ya ukaba but after I realized they are nime 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 explore like I'm good I don't regret Kenya niko hii job ni kama ingine and I love my job I enjoy it kwa sababu imenitoa mbali you can imagine catering for a family kuwa na wazazi wako 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 I've got my late sister's kids there there na kuna wengine so I will always take care of them yeah na nahakikisha wote wako sawa wanapata wanachohitaji mjibu wa muhudumu wa afya mjini Nakuru daktari Sami Kangwi maambukizi ya maradi ya zinaa bado ni tishio kubwa kwa na ushiriki biashara ukaba but we, we believe these are girls who are in Uh, trouble hako na shida sana uh, we believe people in their licenses will uh, look at them and they say they are people who have a lot of uh, contacts therefore they are afraid of them therefore they are all feeling that the business has dropped tremendously mchungaji robert kavoyo kanisa la kingdom seekers fellowship mjini nakuru anakariri msimamo wa kanisa kuhusu na ushiriki ukaba Uh, ms, uh, mtanzamo wa kanisa ni kwamba kanisa alikubali tendo lile wanalolifanya na pale kuna a thin line ya kuweza kuamua ni lipi linalofanyika lakini jambo moja ni kwamba wale uh, commercial sex workers kama kanisa tunawapenda na tunawadhamini lakini matendo wanayoyafanya ni chukizo Nikija na nguo chafu mbele za watu watu wataniondokea kwa sababu ya uchafu na ufundo unaotoka kwa mavazi yangu so nao wale watu ni watu wazuri lakini kwa sababu ya matendo yao maovu inafanya waone ni kana kwamba wanatengwa kwa sababu jambo hilo jambo wanalolifanya ni chukizo na maandiko inakataza jambo lile kufanyika. So ndio wakati mwingine unasikia watu wanasema ya kwamba nyinyi wa, wa watu wa kanisa amtupendi na mnatutupa mbali, atuwatupi. Tunawapenda. That's why we reach out to them. Hata hivyo mchungaji Kavoya anadokeza kuwa bado kuna tumaini kwa yeyote aliyenaswa na mtego huu. Na kama kanisa tunawaambia ya kwamba ukiamua kumpa Yesu maisha yako na ufuate jia zake bwana yeye 